Well, joining me now in the studio to discuss all of this, I'm very pleased to say, is Mikhail Kasyanov. He's a former prime minister of Russia. His book, Without Putin, has just been published. Sir, thank you so much for joining us in the studio this afternoon. Now, we're hearing a lot of calls from the prime minister of Russia asking for Russia to be more modern, to move away from oil and gas. Is he trying to deroute Putin, as it were? Yeah, that's interesting that you're mixing up just from time to time president, prime minister, because it, it doesn't matter much. The tandem which works in Russia now just absolutely clear that Putin, being a prime minister, but continuing to be a senior person, and President Medvedev just uh, just occupies this post and not really uh, an, uh, person number one. But his call, President Medvedev's call for public just to uh, help and to support his attempts of modernizing Russia was um, just taken by public, by educated people, with some kind of uh, skepticism because of the simple reason. Because they look for him as assistant to Mr. Putin and immediately they are looking for some kind of confirmation from Putin's side. But it's important that evaluation given by Medvedev of all the stance, all the, 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 the state of uh, Russia's economy and social sphere was absolutely correct and I agree with this. But the mechanisms he proposed just to deal, to modernize Russia was absolutely unacceptable. Just without changes, global changes in, in uh, the whole system, it is not possible. I mean. So would you say then that today his attempt to possibly break away from Putin is just not working? Absolutely. It doesn't work and uh, we cannot have any modernization of our country without modernizing the political system. One and a half party system which de facto has been established by Putin couldn't provide for any modernization. Without people's participation in real political life, that's impossible. And we know this for many, many, from many, many examples in the world. That means just Medvedev's words that uh, political system almost perfect now just gives us uh, exact answers. No changes in the foreseeable future, unfortunately. But, sir, how do you modernize and the political system? Do you have to get rid, first of all, of the main two culprits, Medvedev and Putin? Uh, First of all, just uh, this authority should to depart through free and fair elections. The main democratic institution, free elections, should be re-established in Russia. Afterwards, we can talk about uh, consolidations and some kind of compromises. Right now, there is no political competition at all, and right now, just there is an authoritarian regime which is very quickly moves to a totalitarian one. Unfortunately, we are going to a very, very difficult position, and uh, this course could lead Russia to, to a disaster in the future. So, sir, will it, what will it take for modernization? In Russia and to move away from gas and oil? Do we have to see the price of oil plunge to $10? Is this the only way? Uh, not the only way, but if it, it the case is at $10, just in one year, just total collapse of the system. But uh, if we stay with the 70, uh, I think this regime will continue to perform. They're controlling the public uh, attitude, public opinion, public mood, and they manage to control uh, the state finance, but not economy. Economy, uh, GDP fall down by 8%, production output by 11%, and this trend unfortunately continues. Uh, and the next year we'll see uh, another borrowings would appear in the market as much as 20 billion US dollars to finance increase of pensions Mr. Putin promised to pensioners. That will be just a little funny, but uh, now just we come to such an exercise, just uh, you here in the market will finance increase of uh, pensions of Russian, uh, Russian babushkas. Uh, Mr. Kasinov, we only have a very short time left. What is the best outcome from this European EU Russia summit in Stockholm this week? Um, I think I think just it is important to have a, a general a good uh, good relations with Russian businesses, but important to understand just as far as soon as this regime disappears, then will new opportunities will, would be absolutely clear. Today you can be prepared and keep your eye on what is going on in Russia, but uh, on the other hand, just for business community, just not to uh, invest. Invest, I mean, politically invest much. Investing, be prepared Mr. for jumps. Mr. Kastianov, thank you so much for joining us.